WWE will host an in-your-house pay-per-view event this Sunday, June the 7th, 2020. For the first time in almost 22 years, we'll have a backlot brawl for the NXT Championship. Also, Karrion Cross's NXT TakeOver debut, as it will be NXT TakeOver in your house. As we will be watching from our homes, unless you're out protesting and riding. Thank you for tuning in and listening to my WWE NXT TakeOver In Your House preview predictions. As mentioned, a backlot brawl between Adam Cole, Bebe, and the Velveteen Dream for the NXT Championship. If Dream loses, he cannot challenge for the NXT Championship ever again as long as Adam Cole is your NXT Champion. Along with Karrion Cross's NXT TakeOver debut up against Tommaso Ciampa, along with Finn Balor and Damian Priest, Triple Threat NXT Women's Championship match, along with Keith Lee defending the NXT North American Championship against Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano. Also talk about WWE Backlash that will in fact be a week from Sunday, so keep an eye out next week as well for my WWE Backlash preview predictions thank you once again for tuning in and listening to these predictions for nxt takeover in your house be sure to like follow and subscribe to gridiron ring gridiron 18 and myself your host encyclopedia sports cool hand luke 96 on social media links as always in the description below hit that thumbs up button share on social media and also be sure to tune in this sunday for wwe NXT TakeOver in your house, live reactions live right here on YouTube. Where to begin? Well, first, hopefully everyone's doing well, staying safe, amid everything that's going on across the globe here today in 2020. Professional wrestling, though, however, has been one of those things that has continued on one way or another. Whether you like it or not, the show goes on. Recently, we had WWE Money in the Bank, in which we saw Asuka and Otis win both men's and women's Money in the Bank ladder matches. And then All Elite Wrestling, AEW Double or Nothing, Stadium Stampede that absolutely stole the show, will now have TakeOver in your house this Sunday, Backlash, and then just recently announced AEW We'll have Fighter Fest on cable television, a two-week event in early July. Keep an eye out for my Backlash predictions, Fighter Fest predictions, live reactions to both shows as well. Thank you once again for listening to these, and then be sure to also tune in on Sunday. So, where to begin, as mentioned, NXT TakeOver in your house, six total matches on the card we'll begin with the most recently added match a six women's tag between Mia Yim, Shotzi Blackheart, Tegan Knox, Candice LeRae, Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez. Mia Yim, Candice LeRae in with Keith Lee and Johnny Gargano as that will be for the NXT North American Championship. We actually had a mixed tag team match on NXT this past week between the four competitors However, though, come Sunday, I feel like these matches are going to be split down the middle as they normally are. We'll have some of the faces win. We'll have some of the heels win. And then looking ahead towards the next NXT TakeOver event, whenever or wherever that may take place due to circumstances, TakeOver In Your House will be in Orlando on Sunday. The backlot brawl between Cole and Dream will will have a cinematic type feel, I'm guessing, as this match has already been pre-taped. Reportedly, they set up a ring outside of Full Sail University, asked the NXT roster to carpool. They set up cars around the ring, acting like it's a high school fight that's going to happen at dusk. All the kids turn on their headlights, rings there, okay, we'll go. It seems like this is the the new style of professional wrestling in 2020. But with everything going on, I totally understand it. Um, However, over the past few years, up until obviously just recently, uh, with WrestleMania 36, we had the Boneyard match. 
and the Firefly Funhouse match, Money in the Bank, Stadium Stampede. Before then, it was really just the final deletions that Matt Hardy did in TNA, along with the House of Horrors that Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton had uh, shortly then afterwards, along with the Wyatt family and New Day in the Wyatt family compound match. But now it's one right after another. So if they would like to slow down, that'd be best, I think. You don't want to get to the point where you're beating a dead horse because then it's just going to be too much. It's going to get to the point where it's not going to be that fun to watch anymore, even though at the same time it will be, if that makes sense. So as mentioned, I feel like we're going to have a split card. We'll have some of the good guys win, some of the bad guys win. As usual, as this is, you know, how it normally goes for takeover events. However, though, sometimes, you know, it's it might be lopsided. You might have four or five of the six, seven matches be won by the faces and vice versa for the heels. Um, but the outlook moving forward with potential uh, main roster call-ups as Matt Riddle will be on Friday Night SmackDown with Kurt Angle as his manager, Dominic Dijakovic, Dominic Dijak, looks to be going to Monday Night Raw. Chelsea Green, reportedly, being called up as well, along with Io Shirai. And then, depending on what happens with Adam Cole and Velveteen Dream with the stipulation, if Cole retains, even though I've been saying for the past few months the demise of the Undisputed Era is upon us, and that's been so up to this point, as this will, in fact, be a rematch as well from the latest takeover event takeover tampa wrestlemania weekend that was actually pushed back about a month to nxt tv as they main evented and absolutely stole the show they'll do the same on sunday but dream could very well be getting a call up to the wwe main roster call me up vince so with mia yim shotzi blackheart Tegan Knox versus Candice LeRae, Dakota Kai, and Raquel Gonzalez. You have Mia Yim with Keith Lee, their couple. You have Candice LeRae with Johnny Gargano, their couple. NXT North American Championship on the line as well. Mia Yim, Shotzi, and Tegan, I believe, will win the six woman tag. And then Gargano defeats Keith Lee. I really want to pick the Patrick Clark, the Velveteen Dream to become NXT champion for the first time ever. He's a former NXT North American champion. But Adam Cole will one way or another find a way to win. He's going to have the Undisputed Era right there by his side. It's a backlot brawl. Who honestly knows what the hell that even is or what the hell is going to happen? I mean, when you think of a backlot brawl, okay, We're going to go out back, you know, settle this as men and fight. Old school bar fight. So Adam Cole retains. And then with Keith Lee dropping the NXT North American Championship to Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano, you insert Keith Lee up against Adam Cole potentially. But then you also have Tomasa Ciampa and Karrion Cross. They could very well go down the same road that they did for quite a while with the NXT North American Championship, uh, with Keith Lee defending in triple threat after triple threat after triple threat, or up against Dijak, who's going to be called up here sometime sooner rather than later, it looks like, as mentioned. So Keith Lee could retain. Karrion Cross defeats Tomasa Ciampa. You put Cross up against Adam Cole then. It seems like they're very, very high on Karrion Cross. Probably the highest that they've been on a incoming superstar in quite a while. Dating back to when Kevin Owens showed up, Finn Balor, Shinsuke Nakamura, even Samoa Joe. And then with all of that, and you still have Finn Balor up against Damian Priest, Virgil Devitt, Punishment Martinez, and then the triple threat women's championship match with Charlotte defending against Rhea Ripley and Io Shirai. Rhea wins. Okay, Io could go up. Io wins. Io is champion for the first time ever. However, she already got her championship opportunity after winning that ladder match at the two-night TakeOver event that they had for TakeOver Tampa, but then on NXT TV, as mentioned, in which Cole then, a few weeks later, 
faced off versus Dream for the NXT Championship. So Charlotte drops the title, potentially goes back up to the main roster, fills the void that Becky Lynch has left behind due to her now going to be off of TV for quite a while as she is pregnant with the Messiah's child. Congratulations once again to Seth Frickin' Rollins and the man, Becky Lynch. But Dream gets called up then if he loses. Have Cross defeat Ciampa, which I think will happen. Cross against Cole. Keith Lee retains, or if he doesn't, still put him up against Cole. And then we go back to square one with DIY for the NXT North American Championship, Johnny Gargano and Tomasa Ciampa. But then you also have Finn Balor. Uh, Damian Priest could very well, you know, get a call up as well. Uh, but I think future's still bright for him uh, in NXT, whether it be as a mid-card champ, North American champion, or as NXT champion. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I know I'm going all over the place as I normally do for my preview predictions. And once again, thanks for listening. But it's all going to depend on what happens this Sunday at NXT TakeOver in your house. That'll set the course for the next few months in NXT. Wouldn't it be something if, say, Cole retained, which I don't think he will, even though he should, but say he does, and then Dream does get called up, and then Velveteen Dream's the WWE mystery hacker, or even vice versa. Dream wins the NXT Championship, Demise the Undisputed Era, as talked about the past five or six months or so. You had Roderick Strong lose the NXT North American Championship to Keith Lee. Keith Lee is still champion. You then had Fish and O'Reilly drop the tag team titles. Riddle and Dunn got split up due to everything going on as Pete Dunn still stuck over in the UK. Timothy Thatcher is brought into NXT. Feuds with Matt Riddle. Cage fight a few weeks back. Basically, Matt Riddle's send-off until he went to SmackDown last week with Kurt Angle as his manager, as mentioned. And you still have, at this point, Adam Cole, Bebe as your NXT champion. He's been champ for over a year now as he won it at the NXT TakeOver 25 event last June. So something's got to give. It's like, if you don't see Cole losing it to Dream, then who in the long run is going to defeat Adam Cole. This goes back to what The Undertaker had said in the last Ride documentary about his WrestleMania 30 match with Brock Lesnar. Undertaker talking with Vince. Undertaker 21-0 at WrestleMania. Okay, the streak could go on and on and on, but if it's not Brock, then who's going to defeat Taker and break the streak? The 1-21-1 and and six years ago. So I'm going to pick Dream, but Cole will retain. Dream gets called up. Gargano defeats Keith Lee. Keith Lee then gets a rematch for the NXT North American Championship until Ciampa then challenges Gargano after losing to Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross goes up against Adam Cole after all this. Finn Balor wins, and then he's still just floating around, along with Damian Priest. That match is just on the card, it seems like. And then potentially... Down the road, you have one of them go up against whoever the NXT North American champion is or the NXT champion. The thing is with Finn Balor and NXT, and they're doing it the right way, they're having him put over talent, whether you see it or not. He's gone up against Gargano, Ciampa, even the Undisputed Era as a whole. Yes, he's battled injury since returning to the Yellow Brand last October. He faced Draginov at the... World's Collide event, Royal Rumble weekend as well. So, as mentioned, it's all going to depend on what happens this weekend at In Your House. First In Your House pay-per-view event in almost 22 years. Dexter Loomis will probably be lurking around painting something or somebody. We recently, on NXT as well, had Brizongo reunite and, yes, indeed, It feels good. So, everybody out protesting and rioting, hey, bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? The fashion police, they're gonna come for you one way or another. 
And uh, I mean, whether or not they're searching for clues or acting like they're going to be on the next SpaceX and go to outer space, then, then so be it. Drake Maverick also rehired after losing in the Cruiserweight tournament. But nonetheless, that's what's happening in NXT. And then those are the matches that I just previewed and predicted somewhat for the In Your House pay-per-view on Sunday. Backlash then a week from Sunday. Keep an eye out for those predictions sometime next week as well. As we'll have the haha ha, greatest wrestling match ever. Ha ha again with the rated R superstar Edge up against the Viper Randy Orton in a rematch from their last man standing match night two of Wrestlemania 36. Drew McIntyre will also defend his WWE Championship against the almighty Bobby Lashley Braun Strowman in a two-on-one handicap match Universal Championship on the line up against Miz and Morrison hey hey ho ho Intercontinental Championship Tournament Finals will be a few days before Backlash with Daniel Bryan and the phenomenal AJ Styles. Seth Rollins looks to be facing Rey Mysterio at Backlash, potentially with Aleister Black in the mix one way or another. They actually faced off on Raw this past week, but they had Rey's retirement ceremony in which... That was via satellite. So Ray, go home for backlash next week. Returns, attacks Seth. They make the match official. Kevin Owens seems to be in the United States Championship picture with Apollo Crews as your new U.S. champion after defeating Andrade on Memorial Day. Asuka, Nia Jax as well for the Raw Women's Championship. They're still messing around with Bailey and Sasha on the SmackDown side of things for the Women's Championship there. The Fiend will, one way or another, I think, make an appearance during the Universal Championship match as well, setting up Fiend Black Sheep for SummerSlam. And then who knows when Otis is going to cash in. He's on SmackDown. He could very well cash in after the, or even during the Universal Championship match with Strowman and Miz and Morrison. So, And then hopefully one way or another, too, we'll find out sooner rather than later hopefully here eventually we'll get to uh finally see who the wwe mystery hacker is and this goes back to you know it could very well be somebody uh from nxt that uh that is being called up whether it be matt riddle dominic dodjkovic might even be a woman uh charlotte eo maybe even maurice uh cole and dream want to be pad options going back to that uh, it's coming down to Mustafa Ali, though, and it looks like Bobby Roode, because Chad Gable returned on SmackDown this past week in the Battle Royal that they had, because they are running, and we'll probably get this match, too, at Backlash with Sheamus and Jeff Hardy. They ran a storyline with SmackDown beginning with Jeff Hardy hitting Elias and crashing his car fleeing the scene, a DUI basically, real life stuff for the charismatic enigma as he has been in trouble with the law a few too many times in his past. But even though that got a lot of backlash and backlash is the next pay-per-view, it it makes sense. I thought what they did there was was pretty good. It, It makes sense. It keeps the story going. And then Sheamus is, you know, behind it uh, as well and how they did it with Hardy then going to the police station being arrested Sheamus, Daniel Bryan main event to face Styles in the finals on Smackdown in a few weeks right before Backlash as mentioned that'll be a, a week from Friday Hardy then comes out at the end of the show Hardy screws over Sheamus we'll get that I think as well so Uh, A lot of uh, actually good stuff going on in the world of professional wrestling. As mentioned, we just had Double or Nothing for AEW Fighter Fest on July the 1st and 8th, respectively, on TNT. We'll have John Moxley and Brian Cage battle it out for the World Heavyweight Championship. 
as Brian Cage was in fact the mystery participant in the casino ladder match at Double or Nothing and won the match, won that casino chip, and was awarded an AEW World Heavyweight Championship opportunity, and that will take place at Fighter Fest along with Hangman Adam Page and Kenny Omega up against Best Friends in a AEW Tag Team Championship match. It seems like Fighter Fest this year is going to be the new Champions pay-per-view, whether you want to call it Clash or Night of Champions. They've stated all championships will be on the line. All championships will, in fact, be defended. So we'll get an AEW Women's Championship match. The new TNT Championship will also be on the line as well. Jericho, I'm thinking, is going to be facing Broken Matt Hardy before Jericho potentially faces Iron Mike Tyson at AEW All Out in the fall. But as mentioned, a lot of good stuff going on. Those are my thoughts on basically just everything going on in professional wrestling right now, but my preview predictions for NXT TakeOver in your house. That is, once again, this Sunday, June the 7th, 2020. I'll have live reactions, play-by-play, live right here on Gridiron Rings YouTube channel, so be sure to tune in. Like, follow, and subscribe on social media. Link's in the description below. Hit that thumbs-up button. Share on social media, and let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video, along with your predictions for NXT TakeOver in your house.